Hello, it is Wizzy G and I'm back with another video and today um, our topic is my hamster's daily diet. So let's get started. So this is what I feed my hamster here. So here you can see, well these are just little tubs I got. So this is um, bird feed add-in. Um, this is completely safe bird feed because I've checked everything that's in it. Um, this is the oat mix I made. This is a DIY. I will show you how to make that um, when it goes out of date. And this is her plain food. This is from a local garden centre where she was born. Um, and it does have more of a variety, but I'll just show you some bits. So I dropped it on the floor. I'd like to sort of rub my hands through here just so she gets my scent up. I always make sure I have clean hands. So I'm just going to show you the portions that she gets. I just got her food bowl here and her, this, um, her main food. So I'm just going to unscrew the top if you're wondering where this jar is from. It is from um, Morrison's I believe and it was only one pound. So what I do is I take this tablespoon, this is one tablespoon, it's quite handy. And I just take it and I scoop the stuff out, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. Okay, so I did, I did a wet um, kitchen towel, and I just wiped out your bowl. variety like you see here. See, not enough variety. So if there's not enough variety, I would just go ahead and swap some of the bits out. Just say there's too many bits of flaked corn. I will take the flaked corn out. There's quite a lot of corn in here and I spend my life picking it all out. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. But then I take my oat and I open up the lid, obviously, because you need to open the lid to get into it. And then, well, this just has little bits and pieces in. It has some little pumpkin seeds and sunflower seeds, so it's not just corn. Just because I don't just put seeds in her bowl, so this just gives her some fat because um, it just puts some fat into her diet um, because this stuff doesn't really have much in it, so fat content isn't much so just put a few wee seeds in there so I crush them up as well though so I just put a wee pinch of those I just add a wee bit more there we go. and then I take the bird seed and I've completely checked this and everything. It has quite a lot of corn, so yeah. And it also has some millet and bits and pieces. And I just take a quarter of a teaspoon of this. Pop it into the bowl. And yeah, that's what she gets. So that's what she gets every day. There's quite a lot of variety in there. There's just some mealworms and stuff. I will be getting, um, I really like 
don't have many of these things but I will be getting them in future. I'm going to be getting some octo belts and stuff. Just because, um, well, just because there's no, this isn't the best out so I will be changing it. And I have got some seeds but it's quite a lot of variety. And I'm going to show you what else I feed her. Um, and she gets some of this every day so let's go. So this is what she gets. This is just a list of everything she gets. On Sunday she gets fruit. On Monday she gets veggies. Tuesday protein. Wednesday veggies. Thursday nuts and seeds. Friday is pasta or rice. And Saturday is more veggies. And today she is going to be getting pasta. And I'm just going to show you her so pasta. This is her that pasta that she will be getting today. Very nice pasta. So, so this is actually what we had for tea. Made this for her. I've just got some pasta. And um, some um, kale in there and I just put a wee bit of cheese on the top so yeah that's what she's going to get today and thank you for watching I will put a clip at the end of her eating this so bye